If you want to become a successful option trader, you must trade like a casino. Casinos and option trading, they have a lot in common. I'm not talking about gambling. In fact, I'm not a gambler. So if selling options is not gambling, how are option trading casinos similar? Well, it's in the way that casinos run their business. Let's dive into how casinos operate. Then I'm going to show you how you can copy casinos with option trading. Now at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how much we pocketed last month by using the tips I'm about to discuss with you. So I'm going to give you three tips on how you can trade options similar to how a casino runs their business. First, casinos always have an edge and they get their edge by the way that they structure their games. And second, they manage their risk. For example, they may place a cap on how much each better is allowed to bet on any one hand. If a player is at a blackjack table, then the table might have a rule that they can only bet at most $2,000 per hand. You see that maximum bet, it caps the potential loss for the casino. Will the casino win every hand, every game? Well, no. If they did, they wouldn't have any customers, right? Sometimes the customers will win and the casino will lose. But because the casino has an edge over the long run, they will win. You see, over the long run, that edge and managing their risk, it makes casinos very profitable businesses. So how can we as option traders copy casinos? Well, first, we must have an edge. For me, one of my edge is that I use technical analysis to enter higher probability trades. I try to sell put options when volatility is a little bit higher, for example, after a stock has recently declined. Our edge is one that I've learned and honed that skill over the past two decades. You see, I use technical analysis to sell options in companies that I've screened and I feel comfortable trading in. I then sell options at strike prices that I know will give us a higher percentage or higher chance of winning that trade based on technical analysis. Now, once you have an edge, you then have to determine how you're going to manage your risk. And with selling options, you might do that with credit spreads, or you might buy some insurance in the form of buying put options, or you might simply have enough cash set aside for all the cash your put options you sold with the plan that if they're assigned to you, you'll then turn them into a covered call and sell covered calls against those positions until you're ready to exit the position. Whatever your risk management is, you wanna make sure you understand what will happen when the market crashes or the positions you sold lose value. You'll be ready to implement that risk management when it's needed. So for example, let's say you have a $30,000 trading account. You don't wanna risk $15,000 on any one trade. You see, the amount you want to risk is based on your account size. For me, my personal rule is I want to have at most at risk in any one position, two to at most 5%. And typically, I'm in the one to 3% range. That leaves me an additional two to 4% and extra position sizing available to fix a position when it moves against me. It's vitally important to keep your risk consistent so that your account isn't blown up by one or two bad trades. Now, once you have your edge and your risk management, then it's time to define your trading strategy. And I've shared many videos here on YouTube detailing my option trading strategy that consistently allows me to pull cash out of the market every month. So if you'd like to see my option trading strategy, check out some of the videos on this channel. But it's important that you have an option trading strategy that's proven to work over a long period of time in many different market environments. If you're brand new to option trading, then I encourage you to paper trade your strategy or at least back test it to make sure it works over a long period of time. Now in a minute, I'm going to show you how much we pocketed last month by being the casino and not a gambler by selling options. But before I show you that, there's one more thing casinos do that you must do to be a successful long-term option trader. The third thing casinos do to run a consistently profitable business is that they don't let emotions influence their decisions. Never let emotions influence your trading. Never let emotions cause you to enter or to exit, to increase or decrease a position size based on emotion. Never allow emotions to influence any of your trading decisions. Simply put, emotions are bad for the stock and option trading business. There is a place for emotions in your life, but trading is not one of those places. Trading is about having a well thought out plan and making decisions that give you an edge and have a high probability of putting cash into your pocket and then doing that consistently over time. Here on the screen, you're looking at the cash flow we received last month by selling options in my main option trading account. Now this account size is right at $625,000. We have right at $1.5 million in positions and we have that money set aside for these positions if they were all assigned to us. Here at the bottom of a long list of trades we did last month in August of 2023, you see the net cash flow we put into our pocket 
as a result of buying and selling options. This included closing out old positions. Notice that in all, we pocketed a net cash flow from selling options of $20,739. In the column to the right of that, you see that trading commission cost us $195. In the top left, you see we collected just over $1,700 in interest on the cash we had sitting in this account waiting to be deployed if it was needed. Just below my video here, you see that we pocketed just over $503 in dividends. In the bottom right, you see that we paid $32.75 for data fees. So in all, as you see in the bottom of this blue box, as a result of buying and selling options, we put a net of $22,742 cash into our pocket last month in August of 2023. Now there is one more account I want to share with you, and that's my outright stock ownership account. You see, in this account, I take at least 10% of the cash flow we realize in my main option trading account, which I just showed you, and I buy stocks outright with the plan to own them forever. This portfolio has right at 130 positions in it right now. And notice in the blue box that the average dividend is 4.15% annual. And in the red box, you see this portfolio is worth just over $70,000. Next, you see the estimated dividends for this outright stock ownership account. Notice in the far left, that our broker is telling us that we should expect to receive just over $2,850 over the next 12 months for these stocks that we own. That equates to just over $237 a month. And I'll tell you, this is the easiest money I'll make next month. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we buy stock or sell options, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see how you can retire probably earlier than you ever thought possible with only $250,000 using the option wealth strategy and the techniques I share with you in this video, check out the video at the link in the description below entitled How to Retire with Only $250,000 Using the Option Wheel Strategy. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.